What's happening? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to do something a little bit more festive for Valentine's Day. I thought I'd do a little makeup look really quick. Nothing too crazy, like just a way to use a little bit of color but not go overboard with it. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Decided to add a little heart on my mole. Spice it up a little bit, you know, I was feeling a little Spice Girls-esque with the pigtails today. So yeah, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you do enjoy this tutorial and want to see more makeup videos. And if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and do me a favor and hit the subscribe button down below. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. So I'm starting off with my face already primed and my eyebrows done. I'm using this Bliss Mad About Smooth Smoothing Mineral Primer that my roommate gave me. Um, she works at like a skincare place. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'm going ahead and just blending out the concealer. I use the LA Girl Pro Conceal and I'm going to go ahead and put some more on my eyelids to set our base for our eyeshadow. So for the first eyeshadow, I'm going in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm just going to go in with that really white color and apply that right under my brow bone and then I'm going to blend it out. Um, kind of like all over the eyelid to set the foundation for my eyeshadows. Next up, I'm going in my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm just taking that mauve pink shade and we're going to apply that right underneath um, the area where we apply the shadow under the brow bone, kind of like the upper crease area. So once that's blended out, I'm going to go back in with the Modern Renaissance palette. By the way, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And take that pinky red color and put that right in the crease. I switched the brush that I was using to kind of get more in depth with the crease. I wanted it to be like deeper into the eye socket. And this is going to be like our pop of color that we're using. Then we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. I like to do each eye like at the same time. Well, not at the same time, but not one eye, then another eye. I do each step at... You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so now that that's all blended out, I'm just checking to see kind of our progress so far. And now I'm going to go back in with the mauve shade that we took earlier and kind of just soften up that area again. Now I'm taking that same blender brush I took earlier and I kind of just dusted it off so I can go over all my eyeshadows and smooth them out, make them melt together. I'm going to go in the um, Carly Bible BH Cosmetics palette and take that really deep, dark, like plum color and I'm placing that like in the socket of my crease slash owner outer V. The first brush I was using wasn't really getting it for me so I'm, I just switched over to like a more dense blending brush. So now we're back at it again with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I'm going to do a soft cut crease. I tried to get this on camera but it's really hard to do it and look in the mirror at the same time. So forgive me for not really getting this clearly but I just kind of make an outline of my lid and um, I use a sponge so I'm not like tugging on my eye. And then right after that I will apply the pigment shadow um, that I'll be using on top of it before it dries. So now I'm using this MAC pigment called Star Dream. It's from their holiday collection 2016, I believe. And I'm just going to go ahead and place that right on top of the concealer. And I will do the same thing on the other eye, repeat the same steps, cut out the crease, and then place the shadow on top. I 
I always use my white towel to like dust off any eyeshadows on a brush that I'm using for multiple colors. I most likely stole it from 24 Hour Fitness, but anyways, I'm just smoothing out um, the crease a little bit. I don't want it too harsh um, since this is a softer look. Now I'm gonna go in with my two foundations. I'm using the NARS Maca or Masa, I don't know how to pronounce, and the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NW44. Once I'm done shaking the life out of my NARS foundation, I'm gonna take just some of the Studio Fix on the uh, Beauty Blender or whatever and blend it all over my face. And don't forget your neck, girl. We don't wanna be looking crazy with a different color neck than our face and body. Like, it's just not gonna work. So don't forget the neck. As you can see, I kind of like to clean up the brows very precisely with the foundation um, on top just because I don't like to carve them out with concealer to make them look like halo brows. So I just kind of make them cleaned up with my foundation. Now going back in with the same concealer I've been using this whole video, like this is my holy grail, I use it for everything. I'm gonna go ahead and conceal under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my Cupid's bow area. Sometimes a little concealer gets my brows, so I gotta brush them out, girl. So now I'm just gonna go in with the Laura Mercier setting powder, um, or translucent powder. It's not translucent, it's like the brown colored one. Um, like I've said in previous videos, I don't like to bake under my eyes, so I'm actually like just putting this into my skin, like pressing it into my skin um, and blending it out. What I do like to set, though, are my smile lines because I always crease in that area, so you'll see me setting those in a little bit. So now I'm deciding to deepen up the crease just a tad bit, so I'm going back in with those two shades from both the Carly Bible Cosmetics, or BH Cosmetics palette and the Modern Renaissance palette and just kind of deepening it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go on top of the pigment and place a little bit more to make it pop just a little bit. So now my face has been setting, or the creases, the smile line creases have been setting for a while, so I'm going to go ahead and just dust those off. Now we're going in with some of my favorite lashes. They're from V-Lux and the style Malia. I just get them from the hair store. I'm sure you can get them from online too. I'm using the Trusty Old Duo Glue. And I'm gonna go ahead and place my lashes on. Um, this is a very difficult task to do on camera, so it's probably not gonna last too long on camera. Y'all see me in just a moment with both of my lashes on. And now it's time to highlight one of my favorite parts. I'm taking the golden highlighter out of the uh, Carly Bible BH Cosmetics palette and I'm taking a tapered brush. I'm just gonna hit up my cheeks, my, the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, and my Cupid's bow area. Then on top of that, I'm going in with the Master Chrome Maybelline Molten Gold Highlighter. And I'm taking a blending brush just because I like the little tapered brushes to go right on top and get that highlight on beam. Now 
Next, I'm going in with this e.l.f. Finishing Powder in Deep, and I'm just going to go ahead and contour my cheek area, my forehead, my chin, you know, make everything really chiseled. To smooth out the contour, I'm going in with my MAC NW45 Studio Fix Powder um, and just buffing out the areas that I contoured. Raise your hand if you use eyeshadow as blush. I do. So I'm taking this plummy color and using it as blush um, on my cheeks. And it looks really good with the eyeshadow. Now I'm just hitting my nose up with a little bit of contour. Don't do too much. And then I'm going to go under my lip to shadow um, the bottom lip as well. So for my under eyes, I'm going to go back in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette in Modern Renaissance and take that pinkish reddish color that we used um, to pop color on our eyelid and I'm using that under um, my eye, like on my bottom lash line. Now I'm just going in with a little bit of mascara to blend in my rear eyelashes with my false eyelashes and hit up the bottom lashes to give them some life as well. So now I'm going back in with the Molten Gold Highlighter. I forgot to highlight my brow bone and I'm gonna use this to highlight my brow bone. Next up are the lips. I had went in with a really deep burgundy color called Sin from MAC at first, but I didn't like the way it looked with the eyeshadow, so I took it off and that's why my lips are already stained. Now I'm going in with the NYX Mauve Lip Liner um, and just really lining my lips and I'm gonna like kind of shade them in a little bit too. And then I'll go on top of that with um, my NYX like suede lip gloss, I guess you could call it, and it's in the color Con. On top of that, I use my Beauty Supply Max Clear Lip Gloss to just give it a little extra glossy look. And that's it for the lips. Now we're gonna uncover my mole with a Q-tip and some lotion. Um, just take a tiny little bit and dab it on wherever your beauty mark is or mole, whatever you wanna call it, and just remove the makeup from there. Um, today I decided to go a little extra with it and add an actual heart on my mole. Um, just to give it a little Valentine's Day flair for the video. Uh, side note, I probably wouldn't wear this out, but it looks cute right now. <laughs> so my outro is lost, and I don't know what happened to it, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!